Hi, hello, it's me, it's Harvey, and it's been a minute. It's definitely been a minute. I think the last thing I posted was my last Vlogmas vlog. Oops, door's not on that. My last Vlogmas compilation of scraps. And, I mean, I've filmed since then. Oh, Jesus, hold on. I have filmed since the vlogmas thing but I don't like any of the footage I filmed three videos in one day I didn't mind the setup but the the way the footage came out I'm not rocking with it so you'll probably never see that today is Thursday March 4th the, the sun is Thursday March 4th and it's 12 52 p.m. I'm driving I need to first get gasoline and then go to Target because there is this coffee creamer that one I saw in Aaliyah's vlog um, and I just and when I say just got into coffee I mean just got into coffee this week um, and I finally found a balance of putting in things that will make it not taste like coffee um, and I want to give this Fruity Pebbles coffee creamer a shot I've had no luck finding it at my regular grocery store so I'm going to push a little farther and go to Target and then I also already ordered some things for pickup for Target so I'm like household essentials the the lighting is pretty bad it's, it's pretty in and out it's pretty bad today I also have plans to put box braids in my hair again uh, I mentioned before, I think on a TikTok, and I definitely mentioned it as a joke, but it's true. Um, I feel my most feminine, my most pretty, so, like my most socially acceptable self when I have in box braids. Um, but I also just like not having to deal with my hair at this really awkward uh, length. Which it has grown. It's been almost a... It's been 10, not 10 months, 11 months since I did that last big chop. And then July 1st is that, that appointment where the guy took clippers to my scalp and took away all my edges. And I didn't know that that's the haircut I was getting. That's not what we discussed. He did not. I was, oops, I was sad. Um, but yes. And then also the last time I did my braids, I had a lot of people on Instagram asking me how, like what was my method, how did I, and so I'll try to remember to get some decent footage of um, me doing it. The method, I do use rubber bands because, you know, it's easier that way, but I do use rubber bands in addition to a crochet needle hook, crochet hook. Um, and I will show it more in depth when I do them. So, um, and I will show you the hair that I use and the method that I do to make sure that, like the hair that I use comes with like blonde curly ends at the bottom. Um, very beautiful. I accidentally got the wrong color. I needed two packs of hair and I had one. So I went to buy another one and I accidentally purchased one shade too dark. So it's going to be like, and the, the mixture will look cute. But since it's starting to warm up, I definitely am transitioning back. Oh yeah, I didn't mention it. I am transitioning myself back to blonde hair. Very much so miss the blonde hair, for real. Um, so after these braids, which if I put them in today, to, between today and tomorrow, I will probably keep them in, what is it, March? The beginning of March? I'll probably like the middle, middle of May. And then it'll be like warm, warm. Um, also, I have friends now. I have digital friends. All right, so let's uh, let's get some gas. And I'm paying in cash. So, oh, no, it's raining. Oh, it's oh, it's gonna get snagged. All right, let's do this. I keep ripping my jeans with every step. Pump five. Busy.
right. All right. Um, so yeah, I've been giving a life update at this point. So um, what else is going on? I am. I can't. I don't want to say full time in terms of hours and workload, but I will say full time in in the sense of I'm not making money any other kind of way. So I am a full time micro influencer. That that's where I'm at. Full time micro influencer. Um, I get paid on from the internet. I finally finally broke down, gave in, and purchased LED light strips. Um, they won't come in until next week. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this vlog this is gonna span more. It probably will span more than one day. If I'm trying to include all the braid stuff, that'll probably last till tomorrow afternoon or something. Um, I don't think this will be a full week's vlog because I really do not be doing anything. I really do miss YouTube. I've also still been working with YouTube. I don't think, well since I'm not posting that. So um, I think I posted the, that I worked, I beta tested for YouTube and they in return like not only like paid me but still um sent me a gift of a denim jacket a customizable denim jacket that had pins and patches and i bought more pins but um i'm working with youtube again and i i love it here i love it here i've been tossing around with the idea of moving to another state uh what else what else tiktok still enjoy tiktok um, the, when I say I have friends now, I, I have friends because of TikTok. I made, I made a friend through TikTok who introduced me to other friends and we just be hanging out and watching movies, uh, playing Among Us, all the good stuff, all the, all the fun John. Oh yeah, road work. What else? I have been, um, looking into for a long time, basically the entire pandemic uh basically looking into moving out on my own like for real for real like not just dorm room not just like college apart like apartment that only leads to college students like out out there's a condo there is a condo i've been looking at and going back and forth about um still need to do a little a little bit more reading about um what kind of home loans are offered in georgia um, but yeah, big, big girl teams, eh? And when I think about the condo, I think about the second bedroom that I plan to turn into the office, filming space, workspace situation, um, photography setup space. And that makes me think like, hey, I think I want to start streaming on Twitch. Like I kind of want to do, um, like I do would like to play video games for a living um, but I think I'd be a really fun streamer uh, this clip is getting long so I will see you at Target A little cleaned out. We need to uh, restock. Okay. But look at the llama. Ooh, an elephant. <gasps> a dinosaur. Ooh. I don't think I can leave the dinosaur there. Also, I can't remember the last time I've been to Target um, this time of day because usually there is a roped off line that stretches like back here. Yeah,
was wrong. I think I was wrong. Oh my god. Why is it so hard? I don't even see where it would be. Daily 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Let's see what this is about. You know, gotta have my my milk substitute collection. Do they have like soup base? Cause that's one thing I have haven't been able to find in a really long time. It's like almond soup based meant for almonds like meant I'm tripping soup base made from almonds well looking like a big fat no that was worth a shot I guess off on to the next all right so I'm back in the car looked it up Publix does indeed I mean Target also said they had it Publix says they have it so I'm gonna go to Publix but I want to try this kumquat on camera for a hoi and try this one all right all right okay healed it's gonna pop it like a grape i think I don't remember what Hoyt told me it was going to taste like, but I don't remember him saying it was going to taste like a lemon, like somewhere between a lemon and an orange. I don't remember him saying that. Um, interesting. I'm trying to determine if they just aren't quite ripe enough, which will be totally fine to let them ripen, but you know, not terrible. Hi, I'm good. Um, can I get a regular Georgia peach fuzzy navel? Me too. Heard that white voice? Me too. Okay, 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 okay. Fuzzy navel Georgia peach. Yes. I don't know which way I need to go, but I think I need to go this way. So I'm just gonna, no I'm not, I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> That's scary. If you don't have a Pelicans near you, start a franchise. I think I'm gonna start a Pelicans franchise actually. Cause Atlanta doesn't really have one in the area so I'm gonna put one out there. This truck is on my behind. Aggressively. Very and that's on period. Oh my god, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. Oh. <laughs> and then we have the other ones that I kind of want to try too. And for these girls. Goods that I've been fighting literally all day to find. <laughs> Where the hell did I park? Oh, way over there. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I can hit up Walmart and then go home and do my braids. That is gonna take at least at least six to eight hours at the bare minimum. Alrighty, it is 
four four forty ish and I'm home and I've put away everything that I purchased and I'm about to start setting up for braids and I want to share my my setup. Last time I did these braids, I specifically bought this jar, this size jar of Eco Styler um, to use. And I think I used probably like three quarters of it just during the braids. So yes. And the last thing I'm going to do is make some coffee and try the coffee creamer. And also so I can stay awake. Because if I need to stay up overnight, I probably will. Because this needs to be done by tomorrow morning, afternoon or something. And I'm a procrastinator. So yeah. So first I wanna taste this as is. My mom came home to eat very loud. So like shot of three pebbles creamer. Kind of smells like spoiled milk. Ooh, you know, gotta make a mess. Also, something that I keep with me when I do braids is a dirty towel so I can wipe my hands of gel or whatever. So I'm gonna dab this dry first. This is dirty already. Definitely still needs sugar, but the creamer itself is really good. So I am going to sip on this. I need to actually hurry up and part my hair. So the, the sun is being wacky. So the, the method that I do my box braids is like, like I said, crochet, like section off by, um, by way of rubber bands and then crochet a half size piece and then um, crochet that under and then pull and then braid that down with my hair as like the third piece like the two two halves of the half size piece and then braid down with my hair um as far as it'll go and then take a regular size piece um and then loop that around like not using the hook but just like actually just loop it and braid it um and braid that down like all the way and then put on a perm rod because yes the the bottom of the hair is already curly but it kind of doesn't make a difference um because it needs to be dipped to keep the shape and clean up everything. So I put on a perm rod and then after I finish doing all the braids, boil the water, dip the hair, let it dry a little bit because it will be heavy. And then take out all the perm rods. And but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try to go ahead and part my whole head and then do the first braid so I can show. And if not, I'll just show you the parts and then I'll show you the last few braids tomorrow. Yeah. Also, I'm gonna watch Attack on Titan. Like I said, binging. See ya. Taking breaks. I'm done parting. And if I find something that I missed, I'll just rubber band it. Get this out. And I'm going to go ahead and um, grease my scalp because it is itchy already. Just using regular salty grease. So, this is the size section I'm going to be using. This is for the entire braid. 
and the ends are curly. I'm going to take a third. Well, no, not third. Like a quarter of this. Ugh, it was still wet. So this is the part that I'm going to take now. This is, you know, very different size. So this is that. Hold it. So then kind of like have my gel on standby. Hold it like this. The loop doesn't actually matter. And I'll do... So I'm going to do one, tighten this a little bit, but still let the crochet hook be able to go underneath. And I'm going to sit there, leave that open, the loop, put the loop to the hook, close, pull it through. Like a <laughs> take this and for one grab all the hair involved and pull it through just for that for one oh the brand gel matters gel slick this like this is my hair like slick this as much as you can and then half and half of this and just braid this down a little. I guess we could have direct gel, that'll help. And if you know how to tuck, this would be a great time to do it. And so once you get towards the end, just like start of your hair, just start like flattening it between the braids. And I do a little twisty twist. The next piece of hair, and now you're just going to loop it and then three strand braid it. So I can you see under here and just make sure it's really tight at the top so it stays. And then once you get to a certain part, you can back up and just braid down. Like, yes, I can see my hair, but I don't care. And there shouldn't be anybody looking that close to see my hair. And so the thing that's going to keep your, and then, like I said, the, my parts, my boxes, my boxy part of my box braids, vary in size, vary in shape. The only ones that matter are the ones that can be seen from, like, the front. So in order... To have the braids look the same, all you have to do is try to use the same amount of hair. No matter the size or shape of the um, the, the parted space. I'm just going to keep braiding. And with this, you do want to pull through as you're braiding to avoid tangles. Because this hair tangles pretty easily. And then once you get... To a point where your hair getting a little dry, you want to add some more gel, honestly, because the gel the moisture helps keep the braid as tight as possible for as long as possible when you're like starting it. So it's better to start with really tight braids that loosen up than to start with really loose braids that loosen and fall out in a week. And then at this point, I'm kind of down to the curl, but I'm still braiding some dark parts. So I'm going to keep braiding until uh, all of it is curl. And then for this, I use a perm rod. The size of the perm rod obviously dis determines the size of your curl. Um, and this is kind of like the, the size of the curl already. And I, I can't really tell which way does better if you do this and do this or if you take it from the bottom and roll up I think from the bottom roll up is better so I'm gonna do that make sure the end is secure 
I guess, you know, do all the way up to the braid goes around at least once. And then we put the top into place. And this is what I've got. So I will check back in when I'm done or almost done, which will probably be tomorrow morning. Thank you for coming.
forgot to update, but yeah, I'm done, done. I done slept on it. It is it still. But I used one less whole bundle than I did last time. So yes. I think my eyes are two different colors. Like two different shades of brown. You look like Cynthia from Rugrats. <laughs>